hello friends welcome to the class on uh, control engineering so in this uh, class or in this video we are going to solve another problem on root locus the problem has been given like this and with the g of s into h of s is given so this is a negative feedback control system so very important negative feedback control system so g of s into h of s equal to k divided by s into s plus 1 into s plus 2 as usual the step number one to get the general information so number of poles so consider the denominator number of s terms that is only three it is three number of z zeros consider the numerator number of s terms is zero that will be equal to zero therefore number of branches will be equal to how much three okay since p is greater than z so next one to find out the starting points of the branches as we know always the starting point of the branches are the roots of the poles what are the roots of the poles s is equal to 0 comma minus 1 comma minus 2 next ending point of the branches so that is the roots of the s in the numerator so we don't have any roots of zeros so therefore all the branches are going to end to infinity 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 next step number two to find out the root locus possible on the real axis therefore i am going to draw the pole zero plot so what are the roots we have s is equal to zero minus one and minus two how to find out i am going to consider first root two roots minus one and zero draw the imaginary axis how many roots to the right side only one root that is an odd number so root locus is possible now consider minus two and minus one draw the imaginary axis so how many roots to the right side minus one and zero that is two roots so therefore no root locus odd number root locus is possible even number no root locus so root locus is possible between 0 and minus 1 next what is the step number 3 to find out the angle of asymptotes before that we should know how many asymptotes are there therefore number of asymptotes is equal to p minus z that is equal to 3 minus 0 is equal to 3 next what is the angle of asymptote theta is equal to 2q plus 1 into 180 divided by p minus z okay so your q value is going to vary three asymptotes are there q will be varying from 0 1 and 2 see therefore when theta is equal to that is theta naught that is q is equal to 1 uh, sorry 0 so theta 0 will be equal to 60 degree okay when theta is equal to 1 so it will be 180 degree that means I am going to substitute q is equal to 1 next what is theta 2 that will be equal to 300 degree okay so this is the values of thetas when q is equal to 0 1 and 2 so this is a step number 3 next step number 4 what is step number 4 to determine the centroid that is centroid is equal to summation of real part of poles minus summation of real part of zeros divided by p minus z so what is the real part of poles we have roots of poles that is 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 0 that is we don't have any zeros p minus z that is equal to 3 so that means the centroid is equal to minus 1 step number five to calculate the breakaway and break even points in this case we are going to find out break away 
points okay we have to calculate the break away points so what is the uh, for this we need to have a characteristic equation since they are telling it is a negative feedback system the characteristic equation will be 1 plus g of s into h of s if it is a positive feedback system then it will be 1 minus g of s into h of s if nothing is given then we will be considering as 1 plus g of s into h of s only if they specify depending upon that we need to consider here so if it is a negative then it will be a positive here if it is a positive feedback system then it will be a negative here so is equal to zero so what is the given equation one plus g of s into h of s is k divided by s s plus one and s plus two that is equal to zero after simplifying this i am going to get the equation as s to the power of three 3 s square plus 2 s plus k is equal to 0 okay then I am going to get the value of k k is equal to minus s q minus 3 s square minus 2 s so this is the equation for k I am going to consider this as equation number 1 now I am going to differentiate equation number 1 with respect to s so then it will be uh, it will be minus 3 s square minus 6 s minus 2 is equal to 0 so with the help of calci i need to solve this so after solving i am going to go get the roots of s is equal to minus 0 0.42 and s is equal to minus 1.58 i got the two roots okay as per the predictions the root locus is possible between 0 and minus 1 okay so there is no root locus between minus 1 and minus 2 so here so s is equal to minus 0 0.42 is lying between 0 and minus 1 so therefore i need to consider this and i am not going to check for this y because it is lying between minus 1 minus 2 so there we already determined no root locus root locus is not possible in this therefore i am going to check for the validity by substituting this value in the uh, k that is equation number one and i am going to find out the value of k when s is equal to minus 0 0.42 the value of k that i got with the help of calci is equal to 0.384 so this is a positive value therefore this valid is valid so the only valid breakaway point is s is equal to 0 0.42 is the only valid breakaway point so this is invalid why because it is lying between minus 1 and minus 2 okay so next step let us go to the step number 6 what is step number 6 intersection of root locus with the imaginary axis that is the step number six okay so for that we need to consider the characteristic equation that we found out in the previous step that is s to the power of three uh, three s square plus two s plus k is equal to zero okay now i am going to use the rh method i am going to construct the array so the is is s to the power of 3 s to the power of 2 s to the power of 1 and uh, s to the power of 0 what is the coefficient of s to the power of 3 it is 1 then s to the power of 1 is equal to 2 then nothing 0 next coefficient of s to the power of 2 that is 3 next s to the power of 0 that is k nothing is there 0 so 3 into 2 that is 6 minus k into 1 k divided by 3 that is 6 minus k divided by 3 then this will be 3 into 0 so 0 is there 0 so in the same way i am going to use these two rows to construct this one this value into this minus 0 into 3 divided by this i am going to come 6 
sorry k okay now for the system to be stable what we need to do so this value and this value must be positive the column the first column of the array must be positive therefore 6 minus k divided by 3 must be greater than 0 and k must be greater than 0 so to find out the value of k i am going to equate it to 0 6 minus k divided by 3 is equal to 0 so after solving this i got k is equal to how much 6 so here k is greater than 0 and so this value must be uh, greater than 0 so therefore the k value is going to vary so this must be greater than 0 and it should be less than 6 so this is the value of k so since when k is equal to 6 so this becomes 0 so that means it is marginally stable when k value is equal to 6 it is marginally stable so this is what the step number 6 next what is the step number 7 to check for whenever we find out the complex poles or complex zeros we need to find out the angle of arrival and angle of departure in this case we don't have any complex poles or complex zeros no need to find out the angle of departure and angle of arrival not applicable okay finding angle of arrival and angle of departure is not applicable so next what is the so oh, sorry another thing i need to find out the intersection of root locus with the imaginary axis in the step number c six for that i need to consider the auxiliary equation that is s to the power of two so what is the equation so that will be uh, 3s square plus k is equal to zero right so here i am going to substitute the value of k is equal to how much six so therefore s square is equal to minus 2 after solving this therefore s is equal to what square root of minus 2 therefore it will be plus is equal to plus or minus uh, i 1.41 okay 1.41 i plus or minus 1.41 i though this is the intersection of root locus with the imaginary axis okay so what is the step number uh, 8 so i am going to combine this i am going to draw the root locus that is the step number 8 to draw the root locus by using the previous steps for that okay so now i am going to draw the root locus okay so i am going to draw a line at uh, i am going to mark for each 1.5 centimeter like this then in the same way i am going to draw the y-axis that is the imaginary axis in this case 1.5 1.5 like this i am going to mark okay so this is a plot so let us mark the various things so what are the roots that we have so s is equal to 0 that is the first root s is equal to 0 then minus 1 minus 2 so these are the roots that we have next what is the centroid so centroid so here in this case this is a centroid that is how much minus 1 is a centroid and then angle of asymptotes so what are the angle of asymptotes here in this case theta naught is equal to how much 60 degree with the help of foot factor i am going to mark 60 degree then uh, theta 1 is equal to 180 degree so this is a theta 1 that is equal to 180 degree then theta 2 that is 300 degree so from here i need to mark 300 degree 
वन एटी नाइंटी सो दिस थ्री हंड्रेड ओके सो टू दैट इज इक्वल टू थ्री हंड्रेड डिग्री सो दिस इज टीटा वन दैट इज टीटा जीरो दैट इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी डिग्री सो फ्रॉम द सेंट्रॉइड आई एम गोइंग टू ड्रॉ द असेम टोर्स लाइक दिस okay so this was the asim torch next is the find out the break away point what is the valid break away point that is minus 0.42 so somewhere here so this is a minus 0.42 uh, break away point that is minus 0.42 at this value the k will be equal to how much k value at this point is 0.38 okay so at this value the k is equal to 0.38 okay so next thing so we need to draw the root rule because as we know so how many branches are there there are three branches are there all the three branches are going to start from the poles and it is going to end to the infinity in this case so here uh, it is going to start from 0 and here also minus 1 it will approach towards the break away point like this by increasing the value of k so when k is equal to 0.381 so the branch is going to arrive at the this point so here also it is going to start from minus 2 and it will follow the asymptote for all the values of k it will follow the asymptotes okay so next after the break away point it is going to break from here and it is going to intersect the imaginary axis at 1.41 that is plus and also 1.41 i that is the imaginary axis plus 1.41 and minus 4 1.41 i from the break away point one of the branch is going to break and it will follow it will intersect at plus 1.4 and another one will intersect minus 1.4 after that it will follow the asymptotes like this so this is the approximate root locus for the given g of s into h of s so this is the step number 1 Eight at this value, what is the value of k? That is equal to six. Here also k is equal to six when it intersects at the root locus. Okay. Now comes the last step, that is the stability of the system. Comment on the stability. Okay. So when the system will be stable? See here, when k is equal to six, it is on the root locus. So more than six, the root locus is going to the right half of the s plane then the system is unstable so therefore the k must be greater than 0 and it should be less than 6 in this region the system is stable okay when k is equal to 6 that is called as k margin so that is marginally marginally stable when k value is more than 6 that is k is greater than 6 the root is going to the right top of the s plane the system is unstable okay so this is what the comment on the stability i hope you understood thank you namaste